In case you haven't heard the news, the long-awaited Ethereum 2.0 is here. And one of the reasons I'm so excited about this personally is because it opens the door to passive income with Ethereum 2.0 staking. And that's exactly what I'm going to talk about in this video as a blockchain developer who works with the Ethereum protocol on a daily basis. I'm going to talk about what is staking, how to do it, what are the returns like, and how much you need to invest to get started. So before we get into that, if you're new around here, hey, I'm Gregory, and on this channel, I turn you into a blockchain master. So if that's something that you're interested in, then smash the like button down below for the YouTube algorithm and subscribe. And if you want to learn how to become a blockchain master step-by-step -step from start to finish, then head on over to dappuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp to get started today. All right, so let's talk about how to earn passive income with Ethereum 2.0. There's a lot to cover in this video, so sit back and we'll go through you know each of these points individually. So let's talk about first the current status of Ethereum 2.0. So E2.0 is a new and improved version of Ethereum that we've been waiting on for a long time. This gets the blockchain ready for prime time, makes it really scalable and fast. So if you're a user of Ethereum right now, you're using Ethereum 1.0, but we're at the beginning of a migration phase that's going to take us from ETH 1.0 to ETH 2.0. Because Ethereum 2.0 is going to roll out multiple phases. You can't just like flip a light switch and turn on ETH 2.0. You have to build each piece out at a time. All right. So we just launched the deposit contract for ETH 2.0, which is accepting cryptocurrency deposit so that people can become validators, become stakers on E2.0 and earn that passive income reward. And that's the whole point of phase zero is to set up the beacon chain. And this uh, migration contract that just launched is going to facilitate that transfer so people can you know, move from this network that exists right now, ETH 1.0, over to the new uh, ETH 2.0 network, at least for the beacon chain. So that's where we are right now. So we have the deposit contract, ETH 2.0, Phase zero is not officially launched, but once we have enough deposits, then phase zero will go live. So now let's talk about staking. You know, what is it? Because, you know, if you're going to do this, you should understand what you're getting yourself into. So staking is your way of helping secure the uh, network, secure the blockchain. And you, you get rewarded for doing this uh, with passive income. All right. So let me explain that. So if you think about a, a network right now, like Bitcoin, for example, and the current version of Ethereum, Ethereum 1.0, it uses something called proof of work in order to secure the chain. If you've heard of Ethereum mining or Bitcoin mining, this is where different nodes on the blockchain network compete uh, to solve cryptographic puzzles. And whenever they do this, they mine uh, new cryptocurrency on the blockchain, and that's part of the reward they get for helping secure the network. But when Ethereum 2.0 fully rolls out, it's not going to have miners anymore, okay? We're not going to have proof of work anymore. We're going to have proof of stake, and the miners are going to become validators. And so you participate in securing the network by taking your cryptocurrency, your Ether, and locking it up. And whenever you do that, you will participate in confirming new transactions on the blockchain. So like anytime somebody sends cryptocurrency around, that transaction gets written to the blockchain and you help participate in validating that transaction. That's why it's called a validator and you earn passive income reward for doing this. Okay. So you might say, why do I need cryptocurrency at all to do this? Well, because uh, there's an incentive to act honestly here. So when you take Ethereum or Ether and you lock it up, you can also be penalized for um, you know not providing the right answer, so to speak, or being dishonest when you uh, validate new transactions in the blockchain. That's what makes the whole staking mechanism work in the first place. So how much passive income can you earn? Well, let's look at the rewards here. There's actually a calculator here on Ethereum's website. So this is launchpad.ethereum.org that will help you understand this. So you can see that the staking rewards are determined by how many people actually stake. And that's part of the security mechanism of the network. If more people stake, then the returns go down. And if less people stake, then the returns are higher. So this is an incentive mechanism. If you've ever heard of Bitcoin's difficulty bomb, this is a similar type of thing, where basically um, the more people stake, the more secure the network is. And so technically when fewer people stake, the security goes down. So they wanna incentivize more people to stake. So they'll give them higher returns to incentivize them to do that. And that usually brings the number of stakers up and then the returns go down. So there's always gonna be this like sort of optimal point or maybe like this equilibrium point that it reaches. So that'll be interesting to actually watch over time. So let's just take a look here. If the fewest amount of people stake, then the returns can be as high as 21.6% APR. So that's pretty good interest, you know, especially compared to a bank account. And also, if you think about the price of ETH going up over the long term, it's just icing on the cake. And that's what causes a lot of people to stake in the first place. That's why I plan on doing it is because I plan on holding Ethereum for the long term or Ether for the long term. And so, you know, having uh, this additional appreciation on top of that is really just icing on the cake. And so you can play around this calculator more, you know, if, uh, you know, five times as many people is at stake, then the returns go down to 
nine percent, and then it you know, just gradually levels off uh, and will be as low as about four point nine percent. So, how much money do you need to invest in order to stake on Ethereum two point So, uh, let's just do some math here. So, the minimum deposit amount to become a full validator on Ethereum two point is thirty two Ether. All right. So at the time of recording this video, let's just see what the price is. Uh, so it's about 450 US dollars. Okay, so 450 times 32. All right, it's about 14,400 US dollar. So that's a lot of money, all right? But there are other options out there, and I want to talk about that right now. Because, you know, running a full validator node and staking 32 Ether is not the only way that you have to do this, okay? So I will say that running a full validator node and having 32 Ether is going to guarantee that you get the most return out of this, okay? Because some of these other solutions might uh, eat into some of your profit profitability here. But let me talk about some of those right now. So one of the cool things is that there are plenty of companies out there that offer staking services. So instead of having to like run your own hardware and also come up with the minimum deposit amount 32 Ether, uh, there are different companies that help you like overcome this barrier. Now, like I said, some of them may charge for this, so you may not get the full return as if you ran your own validator node and stake 32 Ether. But but let me let me give you an idea of what some of those services are like. So some of them are custodial, um, which means basically they control your funds, all right, and you don't have access to them unless you request them back. And some of them are decentralized, which basically means they're non-custodial. You have full control, full full access over your funds uh, during this time. And now the other caveat in this is I have not personally used any of these services. This is not a sponsored video or anything like that. This is not an endorsement of, of any of these. So make sure you do your own research before you jump into any of these projects. But I want to give you an idea, uh, some ideas at least, so that as you continue researching this. But I want to bring these up uh, so that you can use them as a starting point for your own research. So the first one is Rocket Pool. And this service has been around for a long time. Uh, I believe they did an ICO like in the 2017 boom. All right. So uh, you can stake your own Ether with as little little as 0.1 ETH instantly, all right? Uh, you can stake plus run a node, all right? So you can stake 16 ETH and run your own node, so that brings the deposit minimum down, all right? You can also build on top of Rocket Pool. So if you have an application, maybe you want to run staking as a service or something like that, then you can build on top of Rocket Pool, all right? So another option is uh, staked.us, all right? So this is a uh, service that offers cryptocurrency staking for multiple different assets, all right? So ETH 2.0, Regular ETH, uh, Polkadot, Cosmos, USDC. Uh, it's kind of like a DeFi application in that regard. Like a, you can earn interest on lots of funds that you're holding for the long term. So ETH 2.0 interest, um, you can see 22.9% here. That's the nominal yield, uh, but the actual yield will be closer to like 17%. All right. So I'm assuming that's uh, at the uh, maximum ETH 2.0 yield, and this is the you know real yield. You have to adjust for that. So they're eating into your profit here, but again, you don't have to set up your own node. You don't have to do any of that kind of stuff. Um, so you can just stake. Uh, really fast with stake.us. All right. So another one that I just learned about that I'm looking into myself is blocks staking. All right. So this is a decentralized staking service. So it's non-custodial. Uh, they don't keep your withdrawal keys. They're, they're very transparent. Um, they advertise that they have no reward sharing. So apparently you keep what's yours. <laughs> so uh, if anybody uh, ends up using this, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Let us know how it went uh, so that we can tell more people about it. So this is definitely one you can check out. Um, you know, as you do your research. All right, so let's talk about how to get started, especially if you want to run your own node, you want to actually stake 32 Ether to maximize your returns. Because again, at the end of the day, that's how you're going to become most profitable is if you do things yourself, okay? The first thing you can do is go to launchpad.ethereum.org. Uh, they gave you some pretty in clear instructions on how to do this. You can click get started, see the overview, sign up, go through all the responsibilities. They'll, you know, educate you on how staking works, you know, beyond what I've talked about in this video. All the really, you know, uh, very specific details you need to know if you're going to do it for real. Uh, the key management, you'll generate your keys, all that kind of stuff, okay? So you'll walk through all that. It'll show you how to set up your validator. You'll, of course, send the... Uh, you walk through those steps to, to transfer the ETH and get that validator running, all right? And if you want more specific instructions on how to set up your validator node on a test net before you go live to mainnet, uh, you can check out the video I did on how to run your own ETH 2.0 node. That'll walk you through everything. All right, so the last thing I wanna talk about are the risks associated with this, okay? Because as always, you know, there's a risk reward relationship with everything in life, and that's also true with ETH 2.0 staking, okay? So um, especially right now with where we are in the ETH 2.0 migration, again, we're just at the beginning, all right? This is the deposit contract for the entire network launch. So we really haven't even started phase zero yet. We're just trying to get deposits so that phase zero can go live. That's what this status meter here is on ETH2 Launchpad. You can see uh, we're... 
right here, okay? And we need to get to here. So uh, if you walk through this process, you'll be helping move this needle along to help secure Ethereum 2.0. But here's one of the biggest risks associated with that. Once you jump into the deposit contract, you can't withdraw your ETH. It's gonna be locked up until, I think until we get out of phase zero. And nobody knows for sure how long it's gonna be before we exit that phase. So this is the only the thing that you really wanna do if you're invested for the long term. All right, so that's an overview of how to get started with Ethereum 2.0 staking, okay? So just remember, at the time of recording this video, we're at the very beginning of this process. We're accepting deposits for the initial deposit contract before phase zero can go live, all right? So again, there's a risk associated with this. You know, once you do that, there's no going back until we exit that phase. So I just wanna make sure you understand that before you get involved with something like this. But again, this is so exciting. This is the new and improved version of Ethereum that we've been waiting on for so long, and I'm super excited about the ability to earn passive income by participating in the network. So again, I hope you like this video. As always, smash the like button down below for the YouTube algorithm and subscribe to this channel. And if you want to learn how to become a blockchain developer, how can you get started today? You know, taking advantage of this huge opportunity that's uh, before us. That's what I always say. Becoming a blockchain developer is one of the best ways to make money with blockchain over the long term. You know, let's say you want to get the money to get 32 ETH to do staking, then it's a pretty good way to do it. All right. So if you want to do that, how can you get started? Uh, go to my YouTube homepage. There's there's plenty of free courses there. They're like Udemy courses, but they're totally free. Uh, and if you like those and you want to take the next step, or hey, maybe you want to take a massive shortcut entirely and just like start from square one and build a real world project, a decentralized cryptocurrency exchange, then I can show you how to do that over at dappyuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp. You don't have to be an expert to get started today. I've helped people with zero programming experience become real world blockchain developers. So sign up with the link down below. And until next time, thanks for watching Dapp University.